Hey there guys and gals and welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Project Zero Free. Let's go and speak to Miku because we have some stuff for her. And we never actually saw Miku's um, other outfit unfortunately. Although we, could, we can still see the accessories. Right here. Here you go Ray. The pic that picture of the woman resembles this one in the story, so I gathered some data on it. Oh fuck, I ain't reading it, it's too long. So pause to read it, I'll just skim read. Lovely. Thanks. Sorry for making you go to all of this trouble. I'll hold on to these for a bit. Here you go, Ray. I thought this might have some connection to that photo of the shrine carpenter. Oh, God. A shrine carpenter is a carpenter who specializes in building temples and shrines. <gasps> no way! They were formerly called temple and shrine carpenters, but when Shinto and Buddhism were separated, in the Meiji period, the 1860s, and the anti-Buddhist movement began, Temple was removed from the name and they became Shrine Carpenters. Well, if Temple was removed from the name, they would be and Shrine Carpenters. Among themselves, they said, Building mere a house degrades one. Building merely a house degrades one. I'm pretty sure they meant, and when they did not have a building contract, they would work in farming or the like, oh, for fuck's sake, read properly, Jordan, and with <laughs> only limited sight experience refined their technique and skills. They were carpenters who only served one shrine, and special techniques, methods, and ways of mystic construction were passed on to that master builder. This photograph is of the framework with the carpenters lined up and the master builders at the center. As in the picture, they wore white clothing and a court hat for the framework raising ceremony. Jesus Christ. But in old times, they would wear white clothes during work as well as, as, well as it was said that a carpenter will, must worship the gods and Buddha. While distress expressed piety, uh, it pff, fucking hell. I'm sorry, I can't fucking read today. It must, <laughs> it may, it may have also been a way for shrine carpenters to assert their pride and skill before others. Here you go, Ray. I thought this would have connection to the four of those tattoos. Oh God! Pause and read, please. Okay, well, that explains uh, the holly and snake tattoos. Basically, the holly is the love for a dead person, so uh, in Miku's case, family, and the snake tattoo is yearning for the lost dead one, which in Ray's case is 
Um, you. Ray, I was able to ask around the hospital about this picture of Miss Takigawa. The clothes these people around Miss Takigara, Takigara, Takigawa are wearing in this picture, they look kind of like the clothes her family and lover were wearing. They were all riding in the same plane. I see. Thanks. If you need something else, just tell me. Christ, yes, I do need more. It's raining again. No, okay, bye. Okay, let's go into use room, see if there's anything. Uh, quickly. And then we can actually get on with this night and battle some ghosts. In use document file, there is a newspaper which ha a man resembles the one in the photograph. Land surveyors go missing. While conducting a geograph geological survey for the planned Minikami Dam site, Masumi Makimura, aged 26, uh, entered the Minikami Mountains and then disappeared. Makimura's wife, Makimura's fiance, Miyako Sudo, aged 25, went looking for him and disappeared similarly. As of yesterday, the search for them was called off and construction of the Minikami Dam resumed. The Minikami Mountain area is has historically had many cases of missing persons. As myths of spirited aways are popular in the area, this incident is also rumored to be one such spirited away. The police continue to call for provision of any information related to the disappearance of the two. After consultation with the relatives on both sides, they announced that they would be terminating the search. Nice. Their families didn't give a fuck, did they? Temple and Shrine Carpenters, oh boy. Oh, thank fuck. Shrine Carpenters, spirit is away. There have been instances of Shrine Carpenters disappearing across the region. This month alone, ten Shrine Carpenters have gone missing, and it is rumored that they may be so-called spirit of the ways. All ten Shrine Carpenters were young and well-respected, and it is said several ha had been summoned to rebuild a secret shrine somewhere. Anything else? Nope. Good. Okay. So now we can go on with this night. And as all that information would suggest, because it's Ray's night, she's going to be battling uh, another fucking carpenter. Which is the master builder. And he's a fucking dick. I hate these bastards. In fact, in this entire game, I actually feel really sorry for Reika, the tattooed priestess, because it's not her fault what happened. In all honesty. Hour 9, the unleashing. Hi, Hasame. What am I doing in a cage? I ain't no bird. Okay, so run through here, run through these double doors. And then, just like, uh... The Prelude, there are two ghosts here. The only difference is that this time you actually have the camera obscura, so be careful you don't waste your film. Come over to this side, take this picture of this bitch. I hate you, you little bitch. Fuck off. You're a fucking little bitch. My vocabulary is very sparse indeed. <laughs> Can we go through now? Must not be open. That priestess, the shrine, must be Rod sealed. 
Okay, come on, ten guy. Swing. Hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, better, better. Swing. All right, ten guy, let's go. Oh fuck. Uh, best out free. All right, then best out free. There we go. An image of something has appeared in the photograph. This night, basically all you could do is just battle him twice by going to the area that was seen in the photograph. Uh, but... Um, I'm not, because side quest and everything. There's a couple of more ghosts that we actually need to kill. Okay, uh, do I need any nightly provisions? What do I actually have? Oops, wrong button. What do I have? How many herbal medicines and things? Three, one, oh fuck. That's not as much herbal medicine as I would like, so I'm gonna grab some herbal medicine. Uh, hopefully I can get in here. Uh, without Kyoka going batshit crazy. Never tried it before. Oh, look, she uh, changed the room around. That's lovely. Okay, I'll just leave you alone, Kyoka. I don't want no trouble. Uh, there's bloodstains there. Thankfully, no shrine carpenters in there. Bye. <laughs> I would prefer it if I had at least six herbal medicines, but yeah. Uh, I can work my way to that. Okay, um, I'm kind of toying with the idea of getting more film. I don't think I should though, because of the dangers of, oh fuck, possible random encounters. So I'm thinking of just leaving it and just heading off. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it. Oh, hello. Hidden ghost. Hello, Sammy. Okay, so back out here into the tomb's courtyard. Then we go over here, and this is where the Master Builder wanted us to go. Uh, reaction shot right here. Let's just go ahead and see where he's going. He went here. Rest here as a cornerstone. <laughs> Alright, I see that's a bad time. Do you want me to come back later? On part of the wall, there is a mark that looks like a filled seam. Part of the cock... Part of the cock filling <laughs> the seam is peeling away. It looks like you may be able to open it. Oh, I may be able to open it, not Ray? Okay. And take a picture. Because it lasts longer. And now the seal for that door will be gone. And uh, there's also something here in the back of this room. One part of the floor is covered in bare floorboards, with no tatami mats on top. Yeah, tatami. Tatami? I don't fucking know. I ain't Japanese. The hidden storage space under the floor is full of old carpentry tools. They look as though they were used, well used at one time. Maybe, they're, maybe they were used in the, to build this house. Inside a box full of strangely shaped carpentry tools is a piece of paper that looks like an old map map with marks. 
When the shrine of when the shrine of the rift fails to stop destruction, build. What could be in the area shown on the map, I wonder? I don't fucking know, because I can't see it. Okay, you get this equipment, which allows you to change the upgraded lenses now. Which is actually very helpful. Uh, I want to go grab some herbal medicine, which is around here. Please tell me that the ghost I don't want to fight yet is here. Okay, run, 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 run. I'm scared. Run. <laughs> you know it's bad whenever I'm afraid of one of the ghosts here. Okay, so all of the powerful film I've been picking up, I'm going to use the Type 61 for my next ghost. Because she is an absolute bitch. And I'm hoping that this film will actually work very well on her. Because I don't want to use an upgraded lens just yet. Okay, so we come all the way through here because I prefer to get all the way down at the bottom of the entrance foyer for the ghost that, that, uh, that, that well, that appears in the entrance foyer. So we'll come down here. Because trust me, distance helps with the ghosts that we're going to be battling. Uh, can you actually get a picture of her? I think you get a picture of her. Oh yeah, you can, cool. Okay, use the Type 7 to get that picture. Change back to Type 61. Yeah, we're going to be battling uh, Yoshino Takigawa again. So, yeah. She uh, drops the she drops the equipment for the camera, which shows the ghost's HP. Very useful. Okay. Oh god. You only get this ghost if you took that undeveloped photo. Please tell me you're there. Oh god, there she is. Stroller, grandma. You really want her fatal frame. No, you bitch! Fuck! Okay, be careful. If she whittles you all the way down to... Oh, fuck you, you whore! If she whittles you down all the way to zero HP, uh, she disappears. And she'll leave you with nothing. Except from your bruises. Shit, where is she? Where'd that bitch go? Okay, just keep running. Hopefully she's behind me. There she is. Awesome. I might have to break my promise. And actually use a lens. Oh, it worked. Thank fuck. You bitch. There's something left behind where the grandma was. Not star key. We use that here. Oh, thank fuck. But that bitch took away some of my herbal medicine. Oh, well. Live and learn. Okay, so we go through here. Uh, that shiny uh, collectible item is just a stone mirror. Uh, I already have one, so I don't need it. Come through here, and we are with Yoshino Takigawa. Do I take another picture, or what? Should I bother? Nope, I shouldn't have bothered. Please help me. Help me. 
Okay, um, this fight is actually a little bit annoying because you have the shadows as well as Yushino Takigawa. Fuck you, bitch. Okay, uh, fucking hell, all of the shadows. There we go, she's dead. There's a small piece of paper where the violent ghost of Yoshino Takigawa was. Yoshino's photo. A photo showing Yoshino Takigawa while she was alive with a man that looks like her boyfriend. She must have been clutching it tight. The photo is marked with creases and wrinkles. Part for the camera obscura, the measure equipment, which tells you a ghost's HP. Very useful. Okay, so to get out of here, we go back the way we came. It is kind of a long and grueling process, I know, but... You know, it's kind of... It's useful, because... To see a ghost's HP is actually quite an, quite an advantage. Okay, I'm thinking on stopping this, and... Uh, yeah, I'll stop it where we fought the mother and daughter ghost. Uh, in the first night. Uh, you've got to be careful now because uh, after this night, the stroller grandma can actually appear anywhere as a random encounter. Uh, I've only had problems with her while playing as Kay. Uh, so yeah. Just be careful. She's a bitch. Okay, grab this. Herbal medicine. And then we're going to go upstairs and save it. I hear ghosts. I don't like it. Okay, so thanks for watching part 13 of Let's Play Project Zero Free and stay tuned for part 14 where we are going to finish this night and move on to another one of Kay's nights, I believe. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye! I do have that stone mirror. I hope to save it, though. Because there's worse things here. Hi! <laughs> uh, a crimson butterfly will appear to tell you that you can leave.